Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, again, we are reading another fable. And it is actually another Aesop fable. It's my favorite. Um, well, one of my favorites. Today it is The Boy Who Cried Wolf. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. Once upon a time. Oh, wait. Hold up. Let me go back. What do we usually see in fables? What do we usually see in fables? <clears throat> we usually see um, not so many characters, maybe two to three. We see, um, and that's sometimes, because I know in The Tortoise and the Hare, there was like all the friends and stuff, but they weren't like main characters. The main characters are usually only like two or three of them or less, maybe just one. Um, or no, two. Uh, there's always like a villain, so someone who's like mean. Then there's always another character who has some sort of a weakness that's something that they're not good at. Um, or I don't know, just like something that's kind of like down about them. Um, then we know that the setting is typically usually outside. Um, and the author wants to teach us a lesson, right? And there's, so there's usually talking animals. So... There was talking animals in this one and some of the lion and the mouse and um, another stories like th this isn't the only one. This is one way to read it, but there's plenty of other the mouse and the lion where they're actually talking. So, yes, this one has talking animals as well. And the boy cried wolf has talking animals as well. So those are all things that these fables have in common. Once upon a time, a little boy lived on the side of the on this side of the mountains. His name was Willie. On the other side of the mountains, a wolf lived in the lap of luxury. That means like top notch, like super rich. He was, he was living his best life. All right, nobody ever asked his name. The wolf had fine manners for a wolf. Sometimes he put on his dinner jacket. And came over the mountains for dinner. Because the wolf liked dining on people. Everyone on this side of the mountains was afraid of him. So... Let's make a prediction what might happen. Do you think it has anything to do with Willie? Maybe. <laughs> Whenever Willie had to do something, he didn't want... He didn't want to, like, take a bath. He would cry, woof. Even if the wolf was nowhere to be seen, he would just say, woof, oh my gosh, there's a wolf! Just to get out of taking a bath. Because, well, everybody was afraid of the wolf. Ah! No! No! He took off. <laughs> Willie was left alone to just do what he wanted. So he started doing flips. Once a week, Willie went for his violin lesson because he hated his lessons. He cried, wolf, when the wolf wasn't around. Then Willie was left alone to play the kind of music that he liked. <laughs> so he started playing with little rats over there, the little mice. Sometimes Willie even cried wolf just for the fun of it. Wolf! <laughs> One day Willie was riding in the mountains when the wolf jumped out from the rocks. Oh, he's going to cry wolf. He's going to say wolf. And then what's going to happen? Hmm. Wolf! Willie, he ran back to the town crying, Woof, 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 all the way. Woof, he cried, but his grandmother didn't believe him. Will always cried, Woof. Tell me another one, she said. Whew. 
I bet you the teachers next to me are probably like, why is Miss Marciola yelling? Is there really a wolf in her room? Wolf! Cried Willie, but nobody listened. Save me from the wolf! Shrieked Willie, but everybody laughed. <laughs> Willie is crying wolf again, they said. <laughs> that guy hit him in the head <laughs> with this cane. That's not funny, but it, it kind of is. <coughs> At last, the wolf caught up with Willie. You shouldn't have told so many lies, said the grown-up sternly. The wolf heard about the grown-ups and changed his mind about eating Willie. He wanted the grown-ups, I think. Like he's stepping on him. He's rude. He ate the grown-ups instead. <laughs> then, he changed his mind again, and he had Willie for dessert. Wow. So the lesson is that you always need to be truthful. If you're always going to cry wolf if someone says that, that means that you tell so many lies. So when you finally say the truth, no one's going to believe you. If you're like, oh, mom, dad, grandma, I don't feel good. My tummy hurts. My tooth hurts. My ear hurts. My hair hurts. My fingernail hurts. My necklace hurts. My eyelashes hurt. If you say something like that every day, they're not going to believe you when you actually are sick, when you're coughing and stuff, because they're going to think they just don't want to go to school. So the theme and the lesson, the theme lesson that they were trying to teach you is that you need to be truthful. Make sure you paid attention to the details in the story because you do have an activity to this. Bye.